Hi, I'm Hedrick Bielen, President of the Potomac Conservancy. I'm here today at the River Center at Lock House 8. In 2008, the Potomac Conservancy will be celebrating its 15th anniversary of protecting the health, beauty, and enjoyment of the Potomac River and its tributaries. The Potomac Conservancy this year has released the first ever State of the Nation's River Report. The Potomac watershed faces significant environmental challenges earning the river a grade of D+. Much improvement is needed both to protect the health of the river as well as the Chesapeake Bay. We are striving to achieve a goal where the river is fishable and swimmable 365 days a year and where there are healthy fish that people can eat. We call on decision makers both in Maryland and Virginia to take immediate action to make a difference in the river. The Potomac River is the second largest source of water flowing into the Chesapeake Bay. So for people that care about the health and the future of the bay, you need to be concerned about what happens on a family farm outside of Frederick, Maryland, or at a new development outside of Front Royal, Virginia. The region's population is projected to grow by another million people over the next several decades. That growth is going to have dramatic impacts on the water quality, there are real threats in terms of loss of forest cover and also increasing rooftops and roads that contribute to contaminated runoff going directly into the Potomac. But there are steps we can take to mitigate those impacts. We're calling on elected officials in both Maryland and Virginia to enact aggressive stormwater regulations and to use low impact development techniques with both new and existing construction. In addition, we want to see forested areas protected from development in the future and also the replanting of critical areas such as stream sides and greenways to ensure that there is a forest cover along the Potomac River to protect it. As a result of our State of the Nation's River Report, the Potomac Conservancy has created a Potomac Agenda with a number of recommendations. In the state of Maryland, we are in strongly encouraging the Secretary of the Department of the Environment, Sherry Wilson, to fully implement the Stormwater Management Act of 2007. We will see less water scouring our riverbanks, we'll see the river stream temperature staying cooler, and we'll see habitats that are important for aquatic life being protected. Tree canopies are very important. They keep our rivers cool, they provide habitat for wildlife, and also provide nutrients for that wildlife. We're calling on the Commonwealth of Virginia to take action to increase forest cover in the Commonwealth by either delegating the authority to the counties to take action or to act at the state level, and also ensure that critical landscapes are planted like stream sides and greenways with additional trees. In addition, when there are really heavy rains in the Washington DC area, oftentimes it triggers something called a combined sewer overflow. That's when the rainwater mixes with untreated sewage and flows directly into the river that we depend on for fish and for recreational activities as well as the water that we drink. This issue of combined sewer overflow is particularly difficult in the District of Columbia as it affects areas that many people use including right in front of Washington Harbor to recreate. The actions we take or fail to take are going to have a profound impact on the river. The Potomac Conservancy will continue to issue a State of the Nation's River Report every five years. In the interim, we will be issuing reports highlighting other issues and challenges facing the river, as well as specific policy steps that are required to address those challenges. We look forward to reporting to you on our success in the coming years.